Ahad, my name is Ash Singh. How you doing? Um, hey, Ash. Uh, I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> awesome. So majority of the workforce will be freelancing by 2027. 35% is freelancing today. Businesses struggle to find the right freelancers and don't trust that they'll get the job done. At the same time, freelancers currently don't have a support community where they can learn and grow their careers. They struggle to find repeatable work and are unable to earn a fair steady income. Mm. OdiCloud is a collaborative network and enterprise gateway matching freelancers with businesses while providing the same benefits of full-time employment. Fast-growing businesses like Coinbase have trusted OdiCloud to provide top tech talent for their business and technology needs. We achieve our purpose by leveraging crowdsourcing and collaboration, allowing our customers to save time and money. We serve mid to large enterprises that want assurance, consistency, and high quality talent. We currently have 35K in monthly recurring revenue and are looking to raise a $2 million round. Would you like to discuss more over coffee? Mm, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. That was very well done. <laughs> On time, too, Ahad. Like, bang. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> so you. You guys will start to see the, the, the pitches get a little bit better uh, over, you know, because everyone's going to listen and pick something up from the first person and the second person. Uh, um, let's talk about old cloud. You need two million bucks. That's correct. <laughs> okay. You need two million bucks. And, and I, I want to like, you know, as I as you were talking, you know, when we think about um, there's kind of two forks that you can go in. Number one is this idea of creating a safe environment um, or, 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 or a more um, recognizable environment, uh, familiar environment for the workforce. Okay. Right. right? right. Um, that's one thing. But the second thing that I see is kind of a more of a, cause I always try to look at the customer centricity. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. With the bonus. And I think the second part that you brought up is this idea that mid to large companies are looking for consistency, right? And they're looking to kind of build out teams now. That's kind of where the world is going, correct? Yeah, exactly. And so when we think about the typical freelance model, the typical freelance model is I'm going to go on a place like Upwork or Elance, freelance.com, and I'm going to, it's one-to-one, -one, right? Right, exactly. So the small players are there, but the future is going to be, if the, 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 the move on that is going to be, um, uh, you know, the big companies are going to adopt the same thing. They're going to want to hire teams of people that can work, come, do your thing, then leave, right? Is that, right. Is that correct? Right? That's correct, That's, yeah, that's you predicting the future, okay, right? right? And how big of a market do you think that is? Because you brought up an interesting statistic. You said everyone's freelancing, right? You yeah. said that, how much of the world is freelancing by 2027? By 2027, over 50%. Right, 50%. Yeah. Nalay, 50% of the people are going to be freelancing, okay? Oh, wow. Bad. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, um, so you have that, but more importantly, you know, from the support, from the demand side, uh, the, the, tell me about that. How many of the, how, how many of these uh, medium to large enterprises are going to be leveraging outsourced teams? Cause that's what you're doing, correct? Yeah. Um, so I, I don't have a clear number on that for you right now, to be honest. Um, I probably have to do a little more research in terms of how many, um, Clients will be shifting towards that model, but I am seeing a, a huge trend because the the idea is that there, it's low friction. Uh, usually, you know, you have extensive discussions around uh, rates, resources, and then you have to sign like 100, 200K SOW or something like that. A lot of our clients are looking to, you know, get moving very quickly and start on a month to month basis. And, and as long as we're, we're uh, providing results and driving results, they have no problem in, in signing a contract for a year long or, you know, even two, we have some clients that have been with us for up to three years on a consistent basis. So the, it's, it's really uh, a shift in that, in that model. But I still think that clients are also adjusting and adapting to this as, uh, as this freelance space is growing. I think, do you think that you're positively versus negatively, obviously, but are, do you think that COVID has helped what you're doing? Yeah, I think COVID has actually significantly um, sped up the process uh, because it's allowed even organizations that previously were not, um, did not have an internal infrastructure for remote work and weren't open to remote work start, you know, um, they kind of had to shift to that model. And then the, that line uh, blurs between full-time employee slash consultant slash yeah. freelancer. Yeah. You yeah, know, they're so, not going to show up. They're not going to show up to my office anyway. So who cares? Why yeah. don't I save it? Now, the thing is, is that the last question I have for you, Ahad, is around the cost savings, right? So what wasn't clear to me is that if I am a, M, uh, a medium to large enterprise and I have this new installation, say for a product like NetSuite, 
right? Okay, like a, like a, like an enterprise grade type of product. How much cheaper is it for me on average to just hire a team through you versus, you know, the time, energy and effort to kind of build out my own team? How much, how much money do they yeah. save? Because well, I, I don't think you brought that up. That no, correct? no, I did not. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Um, uh, I didn't bring up, I didn't bring that point up. And um, a lot of the savings just comes from the fact that you, you know, we're, we're able to essentially sub individuals in and out and cover a greater basis. Generally, what uh, we found in my experience, you know, doing this for 10 years with, in consulting was rather that, you know, you have this limited scope and anything out of scope, you kind of push out. Um, we've been able to rather indicate that, okay, we're going to work the, the set number of hours, but there's no limit in terms of scope. So if you need integration or if you need automation and, and, and development, that becomes a need, as long as it's within that hourly bucket, uh, um, uh, you know, cost bucket, we're essentially able to able to do that because these companies have shifted month over month, their priorities will change very quickly and they don't want to get bogged down by, uh, you know, uh, discussions surrounding, uh, wow. I'm sorry, discussions surrounding these types, types of subjects. Um, but, but and, and the other aspect of it is, you know, the average employee, you know, you may think they're working 40 hours a week, but really how productive are we, you know, until I got into the consulting world, when I was a NetSuite administrator at one company, I, I, I can tell you I wasn't working 40 hours a week, right? I was mm. freelancing already on the side because that's I- That's why you become an entrepreneur. You realize that you're wasting <laughs> your time. I get it. That's, that's yeah. why we all become entrepreneurs. Like, what, what am I doing here? Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, you don't, you don't need to hire a different individual for Salesforce, a different individual for each system that you have, or one manager that covers all because one person can only know so much. So our approach allows you to get the best resources- um, for the various projects that you need at that point in time. And as those things shift and new technology comes into play, we're able to add additional you know, resources or sub them in and out to make sure that um, it aligns with uh, the, the organization's goals. So that's kind of what we're, what we're doing. Yeah. So uh, you, you didn't answer my question, but I'm going to make something up on the spot. But, 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 you know, uh, sure. Osar actually, <laughs> Ash, Ash, uh, Osar yeah. actually typed that in the chat, yeah, you know, a it, team for the cost of one full-time employee. So Osar is the co-founder. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. so for me, for me, for a pitch, it's usually just like, um, you know, yeah. 50% you cheaper, hire a team 30% for the cost cheaper. Of, yeah. You okay. can hire a team for the cost of uh, that, that one full-time employees. Yeah. 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 I, I think I got it. And I think I got it. I'm going to pitch your idea back to you if that's okay. Yeah. So yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So we're owed cloud. You need $2 million of funding. Okay. Freelancers are in. Okay. I'm going to get ready. When I hit the top, introduce yourself. Ahad, you're an investor. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Hi, Ahad. Hey, Ash, uh, how are you doing? I'm very well. Awesome. Uh, Ahad, my name is Ash Singh. I'm part of the Ode Cloud team. I don't know if you're familiar with the, the freelance ecosystem today, but with COVID and where digital disruption is kicking in, within the next five, six years, over 50% of the workforce is going to be freelance. Now, you've heard of platforms like uh, Upwork and Fiverr and all these platforms to find low-level uh, um, uh, freelancers. What we're focusing on at Ode Cloud is to solve the problem for enterprise grade freelancers, right? So we create super teams and this allows uh, medium to large companies to outsource uh, their, their activations so that they can get something uh, activated at half the price, 50% uh, faster at the same quality they're looking for. We've built our models. I've spent years as an administrator and we're looking to raise our next round of funding. We already have around 30 to 40,000 MRR. And we think that we are going to be the next player in the enterprise grade uh, uh, freelancing market. Would love to catch up with you for a coffee. Cool, awesome. Right? So yeah. I, I tried to bring in, you know, I just tried to bring in the talking points that I wanted you to think about. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so when we absolutely. do it, we want we want that, yeah. right? So I brought up this I think idea. The core, of, yeah, go ahead, Noy. No, I was saying that I think the core that you brought in was like you know you know everyone is aware of Upwork and Fiverr, right? Yeah. But they're not solving the problems for large corporates and uh, large enterprises, right? And you are basically entering that domain, you're essentially disrupting the Accentures and Deloitte's and you know the the Correct. the TCSs uh, of the world yeah. and kind of you're making that uh, you know you're you're uh, using technology to do that. Yeah. So, so what, um, yeah. Yeah. Ahad, what I tried to squeeze in there, right? There's kind of this yeah. triangle of quality, speed, and price, right? Everyone looks Absolutely. at that. Right. And what I understand Oat Cloud is doing is basically you guys can maintain the same quality, but do it cheaper and faster, correct? Right. That's right. What you're doing. And you're doing it for yeah. enterprise products like NetSuite and some of the other big time, you know what I mean? That's what you guys do. 
right? Yep. Um, and and I'm assuming you're also profitable, right? You're 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 like when you when you sell your product, you have margins for yourself, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. Right. And so that's what I wanted to come out at, and that's very specific, right? And I brought the other examples because those companies are like almost billion dollar companies now. Actually, they are billion dollar companies, right? Yeah. And so how does it play in? And and how does COVID go in your favor, right? You know, I tried to uh, throw that in as well. I only had a minute. You don't have to give me feedback because it's not my company, but we'll <laughs> send you a recording, Ahad, and then I want to hear it again it. during your investor day, okay? You're going to rock and roll. Congratulations. Always great to hear it from somebody in, 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 the, in the GTA, all right? Yeah. Over to you. Over Thank to you. you. Yes.